help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Yes, finally, the decision has been made that Nigeria needs war. Yes, it is not only Simon Eba that is saying it. The Nigerian government, that is what they mean by this silence, by the continued incarceration of Mazen Namdekano, by the abandonment and demolition of uh, Igbo properties in Lagos and Abuja. So this statement has confirmed that Igbo should get ready because they cannot avoid this second coming war. Yeah. Listen, Nigeria is prepared for war. We cannot give South East their wish. This is Senator Bukachua. Imagine the North. The Fulani is telling you that they cannot grant Igbos their wish because they feel you are their slave. How can a slave be talking about uh, freedom? They say, no, lie, lie, they will not give it to you. Main on ground, you should all be ready. The, the die is cast. Yes. Oga kara kerugo because it is now or never. We must get it because no country can survive two civil wars. They have gone through one, is remaining one. Yes, by the time we put them to ashes, Nigeria will be wiped up from the map of the world. And that is the promise of Mazinam Dekano. He said, no matter what, Biafra must come. Do you think you are granting us our wish? We will take it by force. Of course, what we are waiting for is the arrangement of Biafra Republic government in exile. Let the Prime Minister put everything in place as promised. And then we'll take it by force by doing our self referendum. You will not even know when the Biafra will be declared. You will just be there moping because we'll do it diplomatically and systematically. Of course, I trust our Prime Minister and his co ministers who are who are working tirelessly, wisely and uh, intelligently to make sure that we have what we call our own. The tension heightened when they had Biafra coin because they know Ibos can do it and they can have it. <laughs> if Ibos have their coin and their currency, it is all over. So why don't you pray alongside that we will have our freedom? They heard that Biafra Liberation Army, over 2,000 or two, I think um, about 200 Biafra Army deployed to Abuja, the tension has been heightened. So they are not comfortable with what is going on and they are speaking up that they are even ready. They are ready because they don't want to release what is not their own. They are criminals. Age long now they have been holding what belongs to the Igbos in the name of One Nigeria. You never can imagine what the Northerners have in mind. They know these things they are dragging on is their own. That is why they will say Asa Bokasha Apokasha. <laughs> they want to say it everywhere and let they say they are ready for war. Ask me who is saying this. Terrorists telling you they are ready for war. And uh, land does not belong to them. Fulani is in particular. The man speaking is a Fulani man. These are wanderers. These are infidels, criminals, you know, taking over what does not belong to them, getting rich and enriching themselves with indigenous people's wealth and properties. You see, he said we are ready for war. I know there will be a state of the nation broadcast tonight. Our prime minister who posted this will address it. Thank God he is the like of Namdekano who does not allow certain statements to go untreated <laughs> because silence or carelessness is not an excuse oh i didn't say when they said i didn't see it when they said they are ready for war it is not an excuse honest and people will not say anything the people speaking are not an elders they will honest they will not do as if they have had because they are unity beggars using the properties of Igbos to break for unity. Selfishness all over the world, you see. Governors from South England, they will not speak a word. It is only Simon Iqba that will react. DOS, 
that said, oh, we love Biafra, we will die for Biafra, they were deceiving themselves. Mazen was thinking he is with some people, doesn't know that they are nobodies. They will not say a word. Because of course, what, how would they say it? Is it they are supporting Nigeria or they are supporting Biafra? Because already there is nothing Biaf like Biafra again for them. While we are almost home. We are almost home. And they say, oh, instead of Simon Ekba to get this Biafra, it is better we don't have it. And they mean it. That is fools. Fools. Saboteurs. That's what we call them. Alright? Now Bukachua said, get ready. We will not grant Southeast. That is Biafra's. Their wish. We will not grant it. There will not be anything like release of Fernand de Cano. That is one. There will not be anything like um, conducting referendum. That is two. That is what he meant by we will not grant the wish of the Southeast. We are ready for war. I don't think I don't I don't know what else you are looking for. Um, before you know it, now one I will say, if you want war, hey, declare it. So that we will know that you have declared war. He has declared war. Yes, he has declared war. No other person will say it. He has said it. Others are keeping quiet, waiting for what will happen. Yes, you want to drag. To your debt, what does not belong to you? You are dragging oil that does not belong to you. God gave you gold. God gave you vast land. God gave you green vegetation. You have everything food. You have everything. Why do you want to die for what does not belong to you? The men on ground, you should get ready. If that's what to what you are doing it five times. Please, this time around, do it one million times over. They say they need war. Give them war. Give them water water. Anywhere you are, start giving water water. That is it. That is the only language they understand. If you are speaking grammar, they don't even understand it. If you are reading from now till tomorrow, they don't care about it. If you are begging them, oh, you are the most foolish. You are the most weakling. But if you give them back to back, they are the ones that will come out in the media to cry out because they must come out. Because the whole world must hear how it's happening and what is happening. That is the secret. Keep pressing the right button. Of course, we're not waiting for them, for them to declare a referendum again, no. We know they will not from their mouth say it, but we will take it by force. Help Simon Eba, that is what I'm saying in essence. Stop sabotaging his effort. Can't you see he's pressing the right button? Can't you see the enemies are, are crying? Can't you see that they are they have declared that they are ready to die for what does not belong to them? So I swore Omara Omara I told of again I have said my own men on ground, all of us put your mind together and fight like men. Fight like men. Don't give up your land. That is the news we have for you today. Thank you very much.